The last setup of our bracket is set up for, which is going to be machining this outside tab. So actually removing the material down to this location and then adding a couple holes to it so that way we can mount it to the firewall. So just like before, I've already jumped ahead. I've added the part, I've added, added the stock and our Kenna Metal tooling and the correct post processor. So we're gonna start with creating a mill part setup. So we'll reverse around, pick the top, and then we'll come in. And for this, we'll use corner slots. We'll pick that geometry, do an end condition. We'll go up to here because that's where our material ends at. For this, we'll do rough finish. Uh, everything should be good there. So we'll generate, generate the toolpath. And let's see what we have. So we'll do simulate. And as we ran into before, our tool doesn't stick out of the holder far enough, so we may have to look at using a different tool for this. So let's see. Let's look at our three quarter inch. Our protrusion is three. see if maybe we can do that as a four. So we'll come over here, we'll take these two tool paths, we'll drag them up to our three quarter inch end mill that we have in, in our machine. And let's see what we get now when we do simulate. So those look like they'll clear. We'll go ahead and add our work offset. So we'll make sure we assign a work offset of 54 because we're using the same one as we did before. And what we're gonna come in next and do is we're gonna add an actual hole feature because we're gonna drill these out because we can't use our 3 8 mil for this. So we'll go ahead, we'll pick our circles. Our end condition is the bottom, but because we're drilling, we wanna include the tip so we'll, we'll hit through, okay. We'll add this, because we don't have a, a 406 drill in here, we're gonna add a new drill to our tool crib. So we're gonna go down Pick drill, you go to a diameter. So if I look at my decimal diameter here, I can scroll down. Should be towards the bottom, so 1332nd. That one looks pretty good. Hit OK. We now have that added to our tool crib. Pick our whole group, hit OK. Do our feeds and speeds from the library, that should be okay. We'll do pecking, that all looks good. And we now have a drill cycle set up to go ahead and peck those. Now one thing we do wanna check is if we go to our tool, you can see our protrusion is two and a quarter. We need that to be a minimum of four, but our drill isn't long enough. So the overall length of our drill is four. or is three and five sixteenths. So we need to make sure we at least have a six inch long jobber drill. So we'll hit okay, so we'll change that. So if we look at this now and we simulate it through,
So it shows that we, we are seeing a scenario because our, our holder doesn't stick out far enough, so we need to make sure we go change that. So in our holder protrusion length, you can see our protrusion was the max of our previous drills, so we need to do um, four and an eighth to make sure it sticks out far enough. There we go. So now everything looks correct. And that finishes our part in our bracket.